Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today's video is my July favorites video. I literally cannot believe July is over. It's gonna be August tomorrow and the summer is just flying by. So I have some makeup favorites to share with you, some skincare, some accessories. So if you guys wanna see what I've been loving the month of July, some of it might not surprise you at all, then keep on watching. Let's go. I feel like let's start with lips. I have four different lip products that I feel like I've been reaching for the absolute most this month, so let's go through them. First is a lipstick. This is the CoverGirl Demi Matte lipstick in the shade Streaker. I use this lipstick in my full face of my cream product routine, and I love this lipstick so much. It's so easy to just throw on, it's very comfortable, and I think this shade is so pretty for the summertime. Another really pretty pink lipstick I talked about in my If I Could Only Keep One Product from subscription boxes. Yes, this isn't a brand new one, but I feel like this month I've been reaching for it so much. It's the Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy Liquid Lipstick. It's a more mauve pink, but this formula is so lightweight and so comfortable. I've been enjoying wearing it so much. And I'm really glad that I got it in BoxyCharm because it's really making me want to try more Dose of Colors because before this, I'd only tried one liquid lipstick and I really was not happy with it at all. So this is exciting for me. Next is from Ofra and this is their long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Manila. This was one of the shades in the collab that they did with Samantha March. And it's just like the perfect nudie shade. It's very similar to the Dose of Colors, except the Dose of Colors is more pinky, whereas this one's a little bit more nude, but the formula is just so comfortable on both of these formulas. So that's why I've been loving them. The last is the shade I'm wearing today. It is from ColourPop. It's one of their ultra blotted lips in the shade Scenic Route. This is from their California Love Collection, I believe it was called. And it's a very, very lightweight formula. Basically what I do is I just put a little bit on my lips and I kind of tap it out and it leaves like this really subtle blotted formula that I like can't even feel. And it's so perfect for the summer because I don't have to worry about reapplying. Like it's just there and it's good to go. And those are my lip faves of this month. Now let's talk blush. I have been enjoying wearing this blush from ColourPop so much. This is the blush stick in the shade Hooked. I'll swatch it underneath. So there's the shade Hooked. It's this light kind of peachy coral shade. I think it's so beautiful and natural looking and I've just been enjoying wearing cream products so much this month and this has been one of the staples in my go-to routine. Keeping on the ColourPop train, let's talk about Uh Huh Honey. I love this palette. And let me tell you, as soon as I saw they dropped an orange palette, I immediately picked that up. Orange and yellow eyeshadows are my two favorite colors, especially to wear them together. Today I'm wearing the Uh Huh Honey palette with the Sweet Talk palette, which is more of like a coral palette. And when I bought this, I immediately thought the two would pair so well together. And I'm even more excited now to pair this with the orange palette. So this has been so much fun to play with this month. I have two highlighters. The first one probably won't surprise you. It's the Ofra collab with Samantha March. First of all, Ofra highlighters are so good. I love Ofra highlighters so much. I feel like I talk about them all the time, but this like when you mix the two together, it's so pretty. The other highlighter I want to talk about is from Collab Beauty. This is the Glow for the Gold highlighter. So this I bought at Sally's Beauty. Let me tell you see this. Look at that. It's the one right here. It's just as pretty as the Ofra. I've kind of been going back and forth between these two highlighters the last few weeks, and I've really been enjoying them. The last makeup makeup product I want to talk about is from Becca. And this has been one of my favorites for way over a year now. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I've kind of talked about this in a few videos, but Kelly Gooch basically taught me to do this. And it makes my shoulders just like glisten. And I've been wearing it like this for 
for this whole month and I cannot stop. I love the way it looks. Such a natural glow. This was one of the most revolutionary discoveries I found with a makeup product in a while. Now I want to talk about a couple makeup tools. I have some sponges here. So these are both from e.l.f. I believe this is their face and body sponge. I believe this is just called their blending sponge. These are such good sponges. They're about five or six dollars a piece. And let me tell you, I really like the Real Technique sponge, but it is not like the Beauty Blender. So if you're someone who really likes the Beauty Blender, I would say these are a lot more similar to that texture. They are so squishy. For the price, you can't beat it. I have two makeup brushes to talk about. The first one is also from e.l.f. This is their 105 brush from the brushes that have the clear handle. It's this stipple makeup brush. And I bought this on Samantha Ravindahl's recommendation. She uses this for her cream blush. And my oh my is this fantastic for cream products. I would highly recommend this. It is kind of pricey for e.l.f. I want to say it's like a $10 brush, which is high for e.l.f. But I think it works so, so well. The other brush I want to talk about is from Real Techniques, and this is their 402 setting brush. It's this little brush, and it fits so perfectly under there for setting your eye makeup. And it also says it can double as a highlighting brush too. It's like the perfect little size and I love it so much. Now I wanna talk about something I kind of touched on a little in my most recent empties video. It is these Kirkland wipes and I blame YouTube for the reason I even bought these. I wouldn't have thought to buy these if I hadn't heard people talking about them on YouTube. So these are from Costco and this is just their store brand makeup wipes. Uh, it comes with basically a big box of a lot of these packets and I think these work better than the Neutrogena wipes. These are so good. Like I've been extremely impressed with how well these wipes work. So I would a thousand percent recommend these. Now we kind of have three random products and we will be wrapping up the month. So let's talk about a hair product. I bought this at Ulta. This is from the brand Invisibobble. So it's a scrunchie with an Invisibobble inside of it. I love this product so much because I feel like it has the effect of a scrunchie, but it holds better because it has an Invisibobble inside of it. Amazing. This one I have is like a velvety leopard print one, but I'm definitely going to be picking up some more because I think these work so much better at holding my hair. Next, I want to talk about this SPF that I bought at Target. This is from Bear Republic, and this is the SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen Sparkling Rose Metallic Shimmer. Here's my hand before I put on the sunscreen. So this is the color of the sunscreen, and then when you rub it in, I hope the... Let me see if I can grab my... Can you see? It gives like a rose gold sparkle to your skin. It's kind of subtle, but it also like, when the sun hits it right, it's so pretty. And I will say it makes the hands very messy. So the way I use it is before I go out, I use this, wash my hands. And then if I ever reapply any sunscreen while I'm out, I'll just use like a spray on sunscreen because the sparkle isn't going anywhere. So the sparkle stays. You just need to reapply the SPF. I've been really enjoying this and it is a mineral sunscreen. So I know those can be a little bit better for you. I wouldn't put this on your face though. That's the only thing I would recommend. Not putting the rose sparkles on your face. Unless you want that. Then to each his own. Last product. Okay, let's talk about this. So this came in Boxy Lux. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. I think it was the end of June I started using this. I was using it like two to three times a week. And... I have been suffering with acne, I guess it was since last fall, and I could tell the morning after I would use this, there would be a huge difference in my skin. Like huge, it was insane. I couldn't believe how well this worked. However, about two weeks ago, I went to the dermatologist and they've been putting me on acne medication and there were a lot of products I had to completely cut out, AHAs being one of them. So I currently am not using this. This is the first product I've used since I've gotten really bad breakouts that I could 100% say made a difference. Even when my acne medication runs out, this is what I'll be going back to because this is a miracle in like a little bottle. I cannot believe how well this works. Those were my favorites for this month. Let me know in the comments what have you guys been really loving this month. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.